<laughs> Stay. Good boy. Hi. So I want to show you films on Netflix that I'm kind of absolutely obsessed with. Um, they're well, it's not even Netflix, this this is Amazon Prime actually. And last year, you know my obsession with The Grinch and I've told you my obsession with The Grinch like right now. And I am still obsessed with The Grinch. But Amazon, so obviously we pay a prescription for Amazon per month and then you have to pay for extra films or extra, like, I don't know, different types of films. Paid for The Grinch last year, it was like a five or whatever, it was fine. It was my brother's account, so I had to kind of pay him back. This year it went on, my, my boyfriend was coming over, I was huffing and puffing. Well, I was going on and on about this Grinch that he had to come to the house and watch it with me because like you can't, you know, you have to watch the Grinch with me. It was nowhere to be found, nowhere to be found. When I did find it, it was like a purchase. I was like, I bought it. It was bought and then all of a sudden it's not again. So is it a thing with Amazon that you have to renew a purchase every year or something? Because it's kind of shocking. I was like, that is ridiculous. I was like, I know it's a fiver, but it's only a fiver, but it's a fiver and you still pay a prescription on top of that. You know what I mean? You you pay the subscription on top of that. I think it's not on, but the Grinch is so worth it. So I kind of have to. And I have two free cinema tickets, so I'm kind of just saying, it's basically two cinema tickets. Anyway, and I watched this film so much that I've basically, I've paid the box office fees. <laughs> I I could say I've watched it for everyone in Ireland, this film. It is that good. And I want to show you, um, this is my sister's account now that I'm on, but it's all under the one email address. I don't have an account for some strange reason. Absolutely love The Grinch, How The Grinch Stole Christmas. Cannot beat it. It's, he's just so funny. Like, uh, you know, I just get his humour. And like, normally I can't sit through a whole film, but I can sit through this. Why is that not focusing? It's actually not going to focus. But yeah, I can, I can genuinely sit through The Grinch and not be bored. And there's always some, I always, like, look. What's that say? Resume. Start over. Watch trailer. They have a trailer. I didn't know that they have a trailer for this. This is so 2000s, isn't it? It's the Grinch colour and everything. Oh, excuse me. Am I allowed to do this? I don't think I'm allowed to post this on YouTube, but um... It's still here in the background. Oh, and it, I'm also really something. Oh no. On Netflix, I have a few films that I also want to show you. I, I remember watching this, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen this new series actually. Love Hard's a really good Christmas film. That's ah, that actually was good to be fair. It's brand new. You should watch it. But I haven't finished it. But it was good. What I've seen. Uh, the Holiday. Haven't seen that in years. I think I've watched it with mum and dad. And that's kind of it. I don't think I'd watch it. It's from 2006. I don't know if I would watch it again. I haven't seen it and I think this is the type of film you would watch when it's on TV. It's obviously really good, but it's only on at Christmas time, isn't it? I don't know, I can't remember. Naked Attraction, apparently there's a boy, a bouncer. Went on it from my city, but <laughs> nope, don't wanna know. Uh, Nativity, a boy in this went to my school and he was actually like a, a main character, one of these wee boys. Uh, Nativity too. He, w he went to my drama school in England. Or does anyone watch The Bake Off? He is he does his own show now and he eats in Japan. <laughs> I wanna watch this. I wanna watch this because it's all like sweet stuff. Love a good sweet bun. The Raincoat Killer. Where's all these documentaries coming from? Magic Medicine American Murder. I've seen that. Exp that looks good. That looks good. It's about lip injections. Excuse me. Oh. Why diets fail. The world of K pop. Trial by Media. Britney Spears. <laughs> Netflix has really upped their game this what Christmas time, and I'm n so I'm here for it. I will be. These are a lot of things to watch with my boyfriend, or just like you know, throw on in the background, love life, yeah, be on your phone. I don't know all that type of stuff. I, I, that's kind of what I'm getting here. Evening. It's a cold one. It's very very cold. I am cold, and. I just want to get on my Christmas holidays now. Apparently there's talks in schools about getting off on the 17th because it leaves kind of like 10 days, but I don't think my school would like, my school would not let you have 10 days, but you know, 17th is kind of like the cut off. You know, people can isolate before Christmas if they have to, but you know, if you know, they're being accurate about it, the 10 day thing would be the 25th. So we'd be off on the 15th, but not with my school. It's just not going to happen. <sighs> Uh, so you know what's really bothering me at the minute? Bear with. Obviously I've had so many achievements this year and um, I'm not one to brag about them. Like I always get like really thankful and stuff and I really like 
make videos about my achievements because I am so proud but I'm not one to be like all up in your face about it I like I hope I don't want to be like that but like every achievement that I've went through this school year whatever I haven't been acknowledged once not one teacher not by one person like obviously I have friends and stuff and I have all my friends and stuff and like they're so happy for me that's not what I'm talking about like any person in the school that recognizes anything like achievements extracurricular anything I have not been acknowledged this whole year and I've got things that are so difficult to get and like it takes so much time like social media is you know it's a slow burn to get to some somewhere on social media and that that is like an achievement because it shows like how dedicated you are and how committed you are to something and then there's all these other awards that go around like I don't know there's a business management thing I didn't do that there was like there's a Pope John Paul award I I started that but I never finished it because I just thought it wasn't worth my time um I kind of pulled out of it but I'm still in the, I paid the money for it but I'm not I'm not doing it and then there's like all, the, all these other awards they get awarded for and I'm like I just received 100,000 on YouTube that very few people even in the setting even Northern Ireland can get mm -hmm.